Hi, welcome back to our two-minute workout. We're at the North Boulder Recreation Center with registered dietitian Martha Hensa, and Parks and Recreation offers appointments with registered dietitians as well as weight management classes. So Martha, what are three weight loss tips that you can tell your clients? Eat breakfast daily, keep a food diary, and exercise. Mm. Maybe you've heard of Jane Brody, New York Times colonist, from the 1960s advocated that we eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and supper like a pauper. I told this to my fourth grade daughter, and she said, great mom, I expect breakfast in bed tomorrow. I think that would be a great plan. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. And when you keep a food diary, make sure you write down food, time, portion, and mood. Then you can ask yourself, am I eating because of hunger cues, or am I tired, lonely, sad? and write down the time and the food that you eat those things. You really can keep track of what you're eating by writing it down. Okay. You so mentioned we should keep track of what we're eating. Are there certain types of food that might be better for weight loss and nutrition than other food? Well, let me get my whole grain basket out here. And we have, when I emphasize the whole grains group, when you go to the grocery store and look for breakfast cereal, go to the nutrition facts, look for fiber. If there's more than five grams of fiber, per serving, buy it. If not, put it back on the shelf. Okay. Whole grains keep you fuller longer. We also have some whole wheat biscuits. Yum. Choose brown rice, as well as we have spaghetti, which is whole grain as well. They're lower calories, will keep you fuller longer. Lots okay. of B vitamins and fiber. And, and I assume the spoon is for portion size control and I think we're about out of time so I'm going to take my spoon and your cereal and we'll see you next time.